Uh, hey guys, so it's Ryan here from the YouTube channel Sailing Sunday and uh, we've been sailing around the world filming on YouTube for three years now and I'm going to take you through all the camera equipment that we use and I'll give you all the pros and cons and just a real honest review. So if you guys are looking to start out your YouTube channel and you want to purchase some new cameras, this is the video for you. We've actually done one of these videos before but this is an updated version because we've learned a few things and we know what works and what doesn't. So the main camera that we use here is a Canon M50. This is a small, lightweight, compact, mirrorless camera. It actually films in 4K, but we only use it in 1080p. Like any good vlogging camera, you really want to have that flip screen so you can really see what you've got in the frame of the lens. You can also connect an external mic to this camera. So we've got the Sennheiser MKE 400, which we'll go through later. It's got good image stabilization and also good autofocus. Now Canon has some really good lenses for this camera. It actually comes with a 15 to 45 millimeter lens, which is a great all round lens. Also it's got image stabilization. Then we went out and got an 11 to 22 millimeter lens so we can get a bit more of a wider view when we're vlogging. And then for our night shots, we got this pancake lens by Canon, which also has image stabilization. It's a 22 millimeter lens with an f 2.0 aperture, which is fantastic for all the low light scenes. After a while, we upgraded to this Sigma lens, which is a 16 millimeter f 1.4 lens and this is absolutely incredible for low light shots we actually use this lens predominantly now and during the day we attach this variable nd filter to the lens so we can get those really cool blurred background shots during the day so sound is just as important as cameras but we'll go through the mics afterwards the next camera we're going to talk about is our on the go action camera which is a gopro hero 10. So everybody knows what the GoPro is. It's super lightweight, it's tiny, it's got amazing image stabilization. So the new GoPro Hero 10 has this screen on the front. Pair this up with the GoPro Media Mod, which is this outer casing here. You can now attach an external microphone to it. So with every good camera, you're gonna need a good external mic. So we use the Sennheiser mics. We've got the MKE 200 mic on this GoPro, which is absolutely amazing. We'll go through the mics in a minute. So with this GoPro Hero 10 with the media mod, with the mic is a fantastic little camera for all YouTubing, all vlogging, all filming. Here's another example here of the media mod. We've got the external light here, which we use at nighttime. We use that external light when we're in the cockpit at night, filming at night under the stars and you just want to say something, talk to the camera. It will just light you up and uh, you can actually see yourself at night. So GoPro, fantastic little camera. Um, in our last video, we had the GoPro Hero 7, which is great as well but it did have a few disadvantages and this one is the same. It constantly overheats, uh, it constantly freezes, but for about, you know, three, four, five hundred bucks, it, you know, you can't complain, it's a fantastic camera. We also got one of our GoPros with the Media Creator Kit and uh, we thought this was gonna be fantastic. So it has a battery built into it, so it connects into your GoPro and uh, the battery lasts longer. Yeah, don't recommend getting that because your GoPro is just going to overheat, you know, two or three times before the battery in your GoPro dies. Uh, never mind trying to extend the life of this thing here. So, yeah, that was a big letdown. Going on to our next camera now, we've got the Insta360 ONE-R. Here it is here, fantastic camera, great image stability. It's pretty much the same as the GoPro, except this one here films in 360. Um, a little bit more versatile, we do have different lenses for it. You'll see right here, we've got the one inch sensor lens, uh, which is a fantastic lens for you know better low light, works better than the GoPro at low light. 4K action camera, essentially same as the GoPro. And then as mentioned before, we got the 360 degree lens. The 360 degree lens is really the claim to fame of this camera. It's incredible. It gets you some amazing shots. Uh, some shots like these ones here are just great. I mean, they're excellent. You can't beat them. You can't do it with the GoPro. You can't do it with our main camera. You can't do it with an iPhone. It's incredible. You can use it underwater. I highly recommend it. Insta360 have got a new 360 camera out. I'm gonna put the link in the description for that one because that's the camera we will upgrade this one to. Uh, in the near future. The disadvantages with the Insta360 is obviously the audio. Um, like any camera we're talking about today, you need to have some good audio. Uh, we use the Sennheiser mics, as you've seen on the GoPro, as you've seen on the Canon N50 camera. Uh, absolutely incredible. There's no doubt that the audio on these mics is super crisp. What we're filming on right now is the MKE 400. It's pretty much exactly the same as this mic here, a little bit bigger. 
it does have a battery. The benefit of having the battery is that we do have the built-in gain and the low-cut filters on the MK400 mic. The other extremely good benefit to that mic is that when you turn the camera on, it actually turns the mic on as well, and when you turn it off, it turns the mic off. That's good to have. Our old uh, Rogue mic we had never had that option, so sometimes we forget to turn the mic on, and you'd lose all your footage because uh, there, was, there was no sound. <laughs> so having that feature on this mic is, is amazing. This is the MK200 version that we're showing you right here. Super small, super compact. So for us, the uh, output is on the front here and it screws on, which is super durable. That was the weakness on our Rode mics. They would all just continuously corrode on the output line there. And it was super annoying because we wouldn't know until like a month later and we've lost all that footage because it would just be all crackly and stuff. So that's the main reason we've changed all our mics over to Sennheiser now because it's a bit more durable, a bit more stronger. Having that screw on mount there is uh, a fantastic idea. Whoever came up with that design, I love it. Um, the other good thing about it is that the shock mount on the actual microphone is inside the casing, which is why this is so compact. It eliminates any noise of the mic bouncing around because on our Rode mic, it would be tapping on the camera and stuff. It has this cord cable here, which you might not think is so important, but it really is. That just stops uh, the, table, the cable cap tapping around and, and causing any unwanted noise as well. These Sennheiser mics actually come with a cord to plug into your camera, or as you guys all know, your phone takes a different output. So they come with a second cord for your phone as well. So this brings us to our uh, next camera, <laughs> which is actually something that everybody has. It's your mobile phone. So cameras and phones these days are incredible especially the iphone 13 we've got the portrait mode to taking nice beautiful photos with the blurred background this camera now has cinematic mode which is pretty much portrait mode in a video camera so when you're filming it blows the background you get some really cool footage so um again as i mentioned having uh you know a good camera needs a good microphone so we've actually gone out and we got the mobile kit with sennheiser so the mobile kit comes with this bracket the Manfrotto tripod and the mic itself. So as social media, you got TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, super popular right now. Brittany uses this for all of our Instagram, Sally underscore Sunday, go check that one out. <laughs> and uh, it's got a real durable aluminum mount, locks into place, you can put the phone anywhere you want. You got this uh, ball swivel clip here, which is this aluminum too locks into place uh, with the Manfrotto tripod. So pair that up with your phone to enable yourself to connect a mic into your phone and have it all into one little setup. You're gonna get some fantastic footage uh, using the Sennheiser mobile kit with your mobile phone. That's another thing that we highly recommend. So we'll put all these links in the description for you as well. Don't worry about that. So this is a great little setup to have using your phone as a, uh, as a, as a camera and, and putting some good audio to it. You're gonna get some fantastic images uh, using the mobile kit. All right guys, so the next camera is gonna be our drone. So drones are just highly effective when filming on YouTube. You get some amazing shots like this. Uh, incredible footage, footage that you just obviously can't get with uh, your on-the-go camera, your 360 camera, your Canon M50, the mobile phone, like, you know, to get any shots like this, you're gonna need a drone. So we use the Mavic Mini. Uh, this is a fantastic little drone. In a lot of countries we've been to, we've been to like 13 countries in the last nine months, and uh, generally you gotta declare when you're using a drone. Uh, we don't have to declare this because it weighs under 250 grams. So a lot of their paperwork, they kind of treat anything under 250 grams as like a toy drone. But this here is definitely not a toy. Um, it even says on there 249 grams. It's a fantastic drone, films in 2.7K. The battery lasts about half an hour. Uh, it folds up and fits right into your pocket. I can't recommend getting one of these little drones enough. They range from about 300 bucks to 600 bucks, depending on if you're gonna go get it with the combo, which is extra batteries and stuff like that that we have. Thanks to one of our subscribers, he actually gave us one of his old drones, which is another one of these Mavic Minis. So now we've got our backup drone, which is amazing. But when these do break, we probably will go out and get the Mavic Mini 3 or, or the Pro 3, I think it is. It's actually a 4K drone that films in 60 frames per second and it has a bit of a better wind resistance. So uh, that's probably be the next one we can upgrade because that's probably the downer to this drone is that it's not very good in high winds. But it's better than buying a $2,000 drone and that just falls in the water because evidently that's what ends up happening to these things when you're using them out on the sailboat. So yeah, it's super compact is probably a main and main good reason to have this thing, but yeah, DJI Mavic Mini, uh, great little drone. It's everything that we needed to do.
just to sum this up guys so if you guys are looking to get started on youtube all this equipment is incredible it's it's great to have it, it's it's treated us well it's it's durable and it lasts but if you're going to get started and you're on a budget everybody's got a phone and the cameras in these phones are amazing today you're just going to need some better audio um, which is why i brought this out before the the media kit by sennheiser you can buy the mic with the mount and the tripod uh this this here is really a fantastic piece of equipment so uh, this could get you started on YouTube. You get some great quality audio, great quality footage, which is really what you need. You can do a lot of the stuff that we do with, with just this kit here. And uh, it's only a few hundred bucks. The next step, you could you know get the GoPro with the medium mod. That's gonna pretty much uh, cover you for a, a wide range of things for filming on YouTube. Um, obviously, you're not gonna get your drone footage, but you could pretty much just do travel vlogging with your GoPro and the Sennheiser mic there. And the reason I say the Sennheiser mic is because it is super compact, super small, and great quality audio. All right, guys, so I hope I've helped you guys with all your stuff, all your questions. Um, throw some questions in the comments. Again, we're gonna have all the links in the description for you guys. I hope that uh, you know I've helped you guys purchase some things. I hope I've given you guys some good information or some good tips or just some honest review of, of how all this stuff works. Thanks guys, stay happy, be happy, keep filming, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed.